set to really get the tips of how to really do a good blog. Thank you. But uh, I still want to remind us first timers, please do not forget. We're waiting for your uh, comment. And do subscribe and then hit the bell. Thank you. Enjoy this. Okay. Now we're going to take the different uh, position of punching and how to block it well. I mean well. Now you're punching to the face. Okay. We know that when you punch, take a punch to the face, you're punching, you're blocking up. Now you use where I take it, that I use there, and it is like you go from the front hand. Good. Now, it does not end with, take it again, it does not end just here. Now go. That is what happens. Now how you can you can see what happens to his hand there how is how how is uh, a hand to understand to make you understand that something had happened so it's not just about this but it's about boom there so now where do you block with let's start there now slowly slowly he takes the punch bam now. Blocking from here is not a good one. Here. That's where you're blocking the point. Not here, but you twist the hand. Now go. See that? You twist the hand. Boom! You strike. Strikes it there. That's what happens with the block. Boom. Now, with this, he will not just. Um, go away with just the punching and you just blocking but your blocking is all already somehow serving also as a strike to his hand so you just you block now go you see that go there that's what happens you block and strike now if you do the usual block that you might know now go there see what happens there and this block is only applicable to like a punch like this but to an extent it is not very okay or very effective because you are keeping your hand like almost like 90 degrees which the pressure can come down but when you do this if the weight Let's assume that this is not a punch. You are blocking a kick with this block. Now, you do this. The weight of the kick will slam down. Even though you might succeed to have blocked it, but you will not succeed to block it 100%. At the end of the day, the kick will land back on you. Especially if the pressure is hard. Alright? But if you do this, no matter how hard or how heavy the pressure might be it will instead instead of sinking you down it will slide off that's what happens with this block so when you block that is how you take it like i said before in the previous shot about the punch which i said that every the, the what gives you the the momentum or the force or the weight of your punching is from the baseline, the waistline comes from your waist. Same also is the block. The block, you watch the slow motion, that is what happens. So the waist, and that waist also is what gives the enhancement which interprets the block to a kind of strike at the same time. Now go, boom! See that? Bam! That's how it goes. <laughs> so, that is how to take. A block a rising punch and a rising block okay now let's work on the middle punch okay from here he takes a punch to the chest level all right now this is another way and a different punch and a different block now this other block comes this way go Should you see this 
with the point with the block it swings the punch off totally go <coughs> swings it off totally and if you ask him he will tell you that it wasn't funny the block on that hand the pressure the hit on the hand was not funny go <coughs> i will see that now the point okay you can actually see that the point of block also stretch it let's go slowly the point of block is not here because if you take here you might still strike out but it will not allow the waist work the waist to actually do what it's supposed to do like i told you that most of uh, what i let me let me say about 50 if not 60 percent of the strength comes from the waist now if you take this for this it will reduce the contribution of the waist but if you take this see that the waist is allowed to come in fully and it gives you the maximum strength of force you require okay so stretch the point let me make it clearer in other words what i'm trying to say is that you block with here not with here but with here and how do you get it you twist with hand it. twist and the block goes bam the waist okay? that's what happens the waist strikes the punching the punch away from your hand or from your body okay now that is that for the middle section uh, punch we finish with a with a face strike we are done now with the body strike now let's take a downward block all right now a downward block we can use punch or we can use kick but let's work let's use punch or throw okay now you punch downward now go you punch through now when you punch downward this is what happens go you rip go down see that now this time you're blocking with here yeah that's where you're blocking with if you if you make a mistake to block here bring the punch if you make a mistake to block here it becomes bone to bone and the question now will be who has a stronger and a harder bone will go without feeling but you you still feel pain a little bit but the one that will feel the pain the most will be the one with a softer bone so now for you to avoid the bone to bone this is the twist here you're using this part for the block Bam. but sometimes in the show when we're taking it for show you might just see you might just see this all right but the actual sense when you're not doing it practically you have to turn it Bam. How the block goes okay we are done with at least three basic blocks from the face level to the uh, middle level to shoulder body section and to the downward le level three basic primary ones for now now we want to want to move ahead to do something a little bit on parrying block how to block with the parry okay now we still go ahead the same way you take the punch again you see that go see that is it this is the parry matter how the punch comes you parry that is it your hand and in this blocking pattern first of all you should be flexible your reflexes must be on a light and when we do this most times when we are doing and we are taking 
and like start up exercises and we do something like this yeah, some persons might not really understand it might it might seem funny but actually what we are doing is a kind of lubricating the wrist pivoting it to make it to flow for a thing like this like that is it you see that that all goes to parry you understand that okay now now let's do this parry with some body movement okay now he goes that goes the body movement to that you go Okay, now from what you've seen so far, it's just a, a simple way of working out with um, trying to avoid those punches, parrying with your body movement. If you can, like I said, make your body <coughs> flexible enough, that is how or that is the way it will work effectively for you. But if you <coughs> If you are rigid, let's go. If you are rigid, see, it cannot work well. But you might miss. But you need to be flexible. Go. That is it. You have to be flexible. Like that. Like that. Okay. That's a very simple and a light way. To make you understand about the parrying way of blocking and with the body movement okay all right viewers i think with this few points it will come your way next time with more of this we have been able to make you to understand a little bit of how to do some basic blocks so far so good thank you please do not we are waiting for your comment and your subscription is very very important and then